And tonight, a powerful nor'easter blanketed the region with snow. The fast-moving storm giving New York City its snowiest day in two years. Ryan Smith joins us at the live desk with the new snowfall totals. And Ryan, where the storm has now turned deadly. That's right. And for that, we start tonight in Pennsylvania, where we've just learned a 20-year-old man died after crashing his snowmobile into a downed utility pole. That was in York County, Pennsylvania. Here, right here, we have the look at the conditions out in neighboring parts of that area. The state exceeding snow forecast with 10 to 15 inches. This is the first time the area saw six inches or more of snow in a single day in three years. We're also tracking for you power outages that have been plaguing Pennsylvania. Tonight, that stands at more than 60,000, but at its peak, it stood at nearly 130,000. These were the scenes today across New York and New Jersey. People waking up to a fresh blanket of snow. New York City seeing its snowiest day in two years with a total of over three inches. Public schools in the Big Apple went remote today, but that all got off to quite a bumpy start with thousands of students not being able to log on due to a technical issue. Students are expected to return to the classroom tomorrow. Take a look at this time lapse here taken from outer space. All of today's nor'easter, the path of the storm, now veering off the coast tonight, lots to talk about as far as travel disruptions out there. That's coming up in the next half hour.